Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Vicky here with a vlog for you. Guys. So I just recently started and I'm not the greatest. I haven't really, you know, uh, gotten there yet to being like an expert because this is my first one. But uh, I promise I'll get there. Uh, anyway, so I am here in Cambridge, Ontario. This is Galt. Institute. It's a college. Uh, it's pretty, pretty huge. Um, the section that I'm at right now is um, the original part. Uh, let's see. So this here, all this, uh, there is a new addition that is down further. I'm not quite there yet. So, anyways, uh, this was built in the 1880s. And uh, the headmaster that was running the school, he was the second one, ended up uh, quitting when it became uh, the females that were allowed to attend the school. He wasn't too pleased about that, so he just decided, okay, well, you know what, screw it. And uh, he quit. And he ended up passing away. Now, back then, you were allowed to smoke cigars and, and that, and cigarettes and whatnot in schools and, you know, other places like restaurants. So, uh, when he passed away, it said that his spirit is still in this school. It said that uh, you can smell cigar smoke. Uh, on the third floor, so somewhere on the third floor you can smell cigar smoke. You can also smell it in the front entrance, which would be over here. So let's see. Yeah, so it would be, this would be the main entrance. And it's also said that in the main entrance here, you can hear boys talking and whispering. Uh, you can also hear them in the back of the building as well. And sometimes it's known you can see things in the window, like curtains moving and that. So that's why I'm kind of mainly keeping it focused up here. Uh, so if you do hear kids in the background right now, I'm not too sure if you can see or not. Just give me a second. I'm sorry guys, this is so shaky, but there is a car over there. Uh, there are a bunch of kids that are playing basketball, so it kind of looks like they're leaving now. Yeah, they're leaving now. Okay, so you won't really, you shouldn't hear any uh, boys or anything yelling talking or whatnot. I have my other phone as well with me. The phone that I use daily. With that I want to do like necrophonic and see if we can communicate with any of the spirits here at the uh, school. So I haven't really been around this whole building yet. There's quite a bit to cover. And I'm parked way the hell over there. Not only that, I'm actually doing this while I... Uh, sorry, I'm just turning the brightness off here. I'm actually doing this while I'm in a boot cast. Because, stupid me, who's working. And I work for Amazon. And uh, I was delivering. And ended up stepping off of somebody's bottom porch, like their bottom step, onto their walkway and it wasn't completely finished. And I rolled my ankle and ended up breaking my ankle and also a bone at the top of my foot. So I'm kind of, you know, healing from that. But uh, anyways, so eventually what I want to do is do the necrophonic. Uh, let's see if we can get uh, an 
any spirits to communicate with us. I believe, yeah, the school, uh, it's still, to this day, it's active. Um, it's open. Obviously, it's not open right now due to COVID. But um, apparently they will be resuming school in September. I'm not sure how well that's going to go, but anyways, we'll see when the time comes. So yeah, um, this place is interesting. Uh, it's... I drive by here a couple times and I always constantly look at it. And I keep thinking, okay, well, you know what? I should stop, look at a little bit of history first, stop, and then actually come and film here and make this my first video. I do have other places in mind. Uh, I do have, like, um, the Screaming Tunnel in St. Catharines. There is um, an old jail in uh, Woodstock, Ontario. It's now turned into a courthouse. So I'd like to go there. There's quite a few uh, places that uh, I'd like to go to video for you guys. So bear with me as I get my channel up and going. Uh, it's a process and uh, it takes time, but I'll get there. And once my camera is finally fixed and the lens is not all screwed up, I'll have better quality than this. So let's take a look around here. I'm going to turn the brightness up on my... There we go, just so you can see a little more. This light might might die on me. If it does, then you know what? I've got, uh, got the one on the phone and I also have another one. So I would like to add in this video, um, if you guys happen to see anything or hear anything that I might not uh, catch, comment and uh, timestamp where you heard it or seen it. So this here is still all the old, like the original part of the school. And then, if you walk further over here, this is where it becomes the new addition that they built. They do say that with the new addition, you don't really hear any of the um, spirits or anything in that. It's mainly just in this section. So. Cornerstone. Okay, so this was in 1905, 1923. So yeah, this section here, they don't get a lot of activity. However, the old part, uh, even students to this day have been saying that they, they hear things, they, they see things, they smell the, um, the cigar smoke, which is actually, it's crazy. I mean, I'd love to be able to go in this school and just kind of explore and see what it's like. Now, I have, like I said, my other phone. So what I want to do is I want to open the app called Necrophonic. So first I'm going to turn my phone in airplane mode, just so you can see it's in airplane mode right now. And that is just because it uh, stops any interference, like text messages that come through, uh, or any messages from, you know, like Facebook and whatnot. So that way there's no uh, interference with the app. So when doing this, just just be mindful that um, 
spirits can attach themselves to your electronics, uh, to you. It is good to say beforehand that they're not uh, welcome to, you know, follow you home or attach themselves to your equipment or to yourself. So I, I suggest, you know, making that known. So let's go ahead. All right, so as you can see, so I'm going to um, ask some questions. Now, before I start this, I hear somebody. I just want to make sure my... I just want to make sure that there's no danger or anything around here. Just because it is night, it is also pretty late. And this part of Cambridge is a little bit... Um, unsafe so anyways all right so let's start this all right so my name is Vicky I'm here to communicate with you and I mean no harm I do not give you permission to follow me home or attach yourself to my equipment or myself. What is your name? How old are you? Ten. Wow, five. I'm going to ask again, how old are you? Nine. Are you male or female? Sounded like a quick female. <laughs> Is the second headmaster of the school here with me right now? Is the second headmaster of the school here with me right now? I'm smelling like a, uh, a perfume. Are there any children, students left, spirits that are uh, wandering this school? Yes. Sorry guys, there's a train going by. Can you tell me your name? What? 
Eins. Me. Me. Who's me? Who's me? What is your name? I got an Evan. Are there any uh, evil negative entities that are here with me right now? Nope. It's weird. It's gone quiet. Is there anybody still here with me? Better. <laughs> That's better. Okay. All right. So apparently there is. Um. Pretty neat. What's pretty neat? Are you are you talking about my? Dev the device that's in my hand here, that's pretty neat. Huh. Head down. Head down. Again, guys, if you see anything in here, let me know. Can you see me right now? Are you friendly? Oh, I got what again? Are you friendly? Yes. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so we do know that what I'm communicating with is friendly. Oh, I got help. What do you need help with? Help in. Can't really make that out. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna say goodbye now. Again, please, I do not give you permission to attach yourself to my equipment to myself or follow me home. You're to stay here. Oh. I'm gonna say goodbye. Just as I ended that, I heard pain. Okay, so turn my phone back off. Airplane mode. All right, so what I want to do is just kind of walk down here a little bit before I end the video. Uh, on the way back, uh, walking along along the front of the building here, I do want to uh, just kind of walk quietly for a little. There is background noise because I am close to a main road, but that kind of scared me just a little bit. <laughs> it's like a cutout of a person. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. It's all kind of, it's like a mirror. That 
is weird. It literally is like a mirror, like made out of little tiny pieces of mirror. actually a pretty nice look at school. So across the street over there is like a basketball court. That's where the kids were playing basketball. It's pretty dark, but they, uh, they were smart and they were shining their car headlights so they could see, so. Anyways, so we're gonna walk back this way. Um, we're gonna walk a little bit in quiet. So of course you're gonna hear me walking Unfortunately, I can't, uh, oh my god, that computer just turned on. Huh. Anyways, like I was saying, you're gonna hear me walking. Obviously, like I said, I've got the boot on my foot, so it's a little hard to kind of like be extremely quiet walking. But I'll try. All right, guys, so um, I did hear what sounded like somebody was walking behind me. So I kept stopping now and then, kind of turning around and looking. But other than that, I mean, I could smell like a perfume back there. I haven't really seen anything in the windows. Again, if you do, let me know. <laughs> so I'm gonna walk back to the front door here, just to see if maybe I can smell the cigar smoke. 
So I do, uh, I do admit this place is pretty cool. It does have like a, a creepy vibe to it. But uh, I don't feel any like negative presence. Also, I was reading about, uh, there were students that came here that were in World War I and II. They were also said, to, so most of them, a majority of the students, uh, never ended up returning, which is very sad. So I do want to go up here. <laughs> Just it sucks that I'm in a boot cast right now. <sighs> oh god. Ow. All right. This sucks. Oh, okay. So Wow. Okay, on the wall there, they have the Fallen in World War II. See if I can kind of... There we go. Sorry, it's a little shaky. So that tells you about the, the ones that were in World War II. I don't see anything for World War I. Oh, I hear music. It sounded like... Okay, hold on a second. I need to come back down here. It sounded like there was um, a younger boy singing. I have no idea if this picked it up or not, but it'd be pretty cool if it did. That was actually pretty cool. And this is, oh yeah, the front. So this is where it said that you can hear boys whispering and talking and you can smell cigar smoke. I don't smell cigar smoke, but I did hear what sounded like, like a boy kind of singing. Like, it's really weird. But neat, I mean, <laughs> the hair on my arms right now is standing up. I'm just gonna get a close up of this here so you guys can, if you can, read it. I don't know how well you can see, but uh, yeah. So I'm going to go over to this part here and then uh, end off the vlog. See, I'm smelling like a perfume again. It's like a sweet kind of scent. Like, it's weird. That window up there, it looks like somebody's parting it at the top and peeking out. Oh, Anyways guys, um, that's going to do it for the video. 
Again, sorry about the quality. Uh, any background noise, again, I'm on a main street. I mean, that noise is expected. And the quality of the video, yeah, it may be crap. But again, it's only until I get my um, camera fixed and once the lens is fixed, I'll have better content. So I hope to um, be uploading more often and uh, visiting different places around Ontario. And hopefully once the border opens back up, I'd love to go across border to the US and explore as much as I can there. But uh, for now, I mean, we're in Ontario, so kind of have to make do with what we have here. And oh, somebody must be. Again, like I said, this area is kind of, it's not the greatest. But again, I'm going to uh, end it here and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you all again next time. Peace.